Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I'm really glad you're here today. This is Tutorial Tuesday and Phase 3 of working with ugly scrapbook paper and scraps. So I spent a little time over the weekend cutting up some more um, old scrapbook paper and scraps and filling up my little pantry of ingredients that I can use in making embellishments. So today what I thought we would do for Phase 3 is make an altered paper clip. And this is something that I learned how to do from Natasha at Treasure Books. And I love the idea so much. And this is such a perfect applica application for what we're doing here today. So let's go ahead and get started. There's my little kit of things that I've already picked out. I have, um, this is the ugly scrapbook paper that I started with. And these are the two pieces that I... Um, I inked and I sewed around them and I didn't want to do that on camera because I figure everybody knows how to ink. So what we're going to do is put all this together to make an altered paper clip. Now the kind of paper clips that I like to use for this particular altered paper clip are these um, thin ones, the small ones, because they work best for this application. Not the bigger ones and not the coated ones. And the reason is because they stick up too far. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so step one is taking your piece and it, you know, you can make it any size you want. This particular size is um, about four and a half by two. And um, I inked up the inside because sometimes a little bit of the inside shows. So I'm just going to fold it in half, like that. Can you see? Let me get a little closer. There we go. Okay, so just fold it in half like so. And you're going to put the paper clip here, like that. Then the other piece, super simple project, you fold it in half as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to glue it over the top so that the paper clip itself is in in between these two pieces and then you just open it up and put it on the page. So things really couldn't be simpler here. So all I'm going to do is get my Fabri-Tac and glue. Now oh, what I wanted to show you too is you can see that with the thin paper clip you get a little bit of a, a raised section right here between the two pages or two pieces of paper. If you were to use a bigger paper clip or a coated paper clip, that uh, ends up being, you know, even taller. So, and I, I don't really like that. So, I mean, if that's what the kind of paper clip you want to use, then by all means, go for it. But I like the ones where it sits on there a little bit better. It doesn't really matter which way you put the paper clip on either. Okay, so take the Fabri Tac and glue the inside of this piece. And I like to put, you know, a fair amount of glue on there because it has to stick to the paper and be held down even with the paper clip in there. And then, let's see, put the paper clip roughly in the middle, like so. Center your second piece roughly over the top of that. And then just hold it on there until the glue grabs. And I like to push it down with my fingers on both sides just to make sure that it makes contact between the two pieces of paper. Then to embellish it, I just brought along some, some of the little flowers that I put together, a little piece of this um, die cut that I used the die from that I got from the Dollar Tree. Just going to ink it up a little bit. And I was going to actually put it underneath there, so I hope I can still get it in there. That's okay. I think I can still get it in there. 
And if not, I can hang off the bottom. Hey, look at that. See? No mistakes. All right. That part's done. And then we just put the other pieces of the, the flower together. Okay, and then we have the little butterfly from the butterfly punch that I have. I love this punch. My favorite part is when you <laughs> you go to punch it and the butterflies fly right out. So if you haven't seen the previous two videos of using up ugly scrapbook paper, I encourage you to go back and look at those and I'll put a link to them in the description. And then you can uh, get started on using up ugly scrapbook paper of your own. Okay, so this is a good start. We need a finishing touch. I have some liquid pearls here. I believe the color for this is copper. And I'm going to give this little butterfly a body. And I'm going to put a little dot right there in the center of the flower. And look, just like that, it is done cute little altered paper clip. So what if this style isn't really your jam? What if you like more the grunge look? Well then by all means, let's grunge it up. So we'll put this one over here. This is the other one that I made as a sample. And on this particular one, I embellished both sides. I have some dies for gears, for making the gears. Uh, you can just use circles or whatever. So let's make one of these together. So I have here the ingredients that I used. So again, the ugly scrapbook paper with, um, I inked it up with a technique that I cover in another video that I did, the playing with inks, and I'll put a link to that as well. And uh, so I did, just kind of wanted to save time. Now one of the things that I noticed when I put the paper on here and then I cut it down, I've got um, a seam right here where two pieces of paper are together. And that's right on the fold. And I don't really want this to come apart as far as the paper goes. Now I sewed around it to kind of hold it down and everything. But I'm taking some of my homemade washi tape that I made and I have a video on this too which I'll link in the description. So I'm going to put that right over that fold just to kind of give it a little bit of structure so it won't, so the paper won't pop up. I just need to trim it just a teeny bit on the edge. If you've never made DIY washi tape, it's the easiest thing ever. So um, I encourage you to watch that video as well. Okay, now when I fold it, Hopefully it'll stay together. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to ink this up a little bit on the edges. And it is a good idea to ink the insides because, again, sometimes it shows. And it's, you know, not a bad look. It's just something that I don't really want to be necessarily part of it. Instead of having a straight edge, I used my ripple scissors to give the edge of this a little bit of a, 
a shape. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not a straight cut. And it is done with these scissors. Okay. And then the second piece, of course, gets folded as well. Put a paper clip on top. Oh, I guess I'll use the one that I brought out for this. But before I put that on there, I want to put some thread on there. So I have a jar of thread. <laughs> so when I'm sewing, I just take the, you know, the cut end and throw it in this jar. And then I can pull out of it for, for little projects like this. And voila! Now for the gears, I have these little gears that I cut out of some scrap paper. I think I'll use the front of this one because I kind of like that gold. I used metallic paper and I tried to ink up <laughs> the metallic paper. It didn't work very well. It just beads up and kind of falls off. And I will um, put a link to where I got these gear dies in the description. Now, if you have a Dollar Tree nearby, you can get some of these metallic markers. Um, I got like silver, whatever this is, copper and gold. And you can just kind of touch up, you know, if, you, if you're just using regular flat paper, you just kind of add a little bit of this um, color to it, this metallic color, and then it looks like you, you know, some of the shining part of the gear is showing through. So, there we go. Wasn't that easy and fast? So we just made these two paper clips. So now I've got four altered paper clips. I'll link a, uh, I'll put a link to Natasha's video in the description. So two completely different styles. You can put your own spin on these for sure. Um, so I encourage you to watch the washi tape video and the playing with inks video and the um, phase one and phase two of using up ugly scrapbook paper and scraps. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, uh, if you liked it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I put up new content. If, if you're here and you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in our next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.